The town of Oxford was shining bright last night in remembrance of the four young lives lost in last year's high school shooting. According to the All for Oxford Resiliency Center, 20,000 luminarias were passed out for a community-wide tribute on the one-year anniversary. Well, in the wake of the tragedy in Oxford, work is being done to prevent another mass shooting inside a Michigan school. The initiative is geared towards saving lives of children in K through 12 classrooms, and it comes at a time when school threats are becoming all too familiar. In 2021, before the Oxford school shooting, OK to Say received 68 tips regarding a planned school attack. That's compared to 243 tips received so far this year alone. In response, a $15 million state grant has been awarded to Michigan State University to fund research into how to prevent violence in our schools. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykep met with the lead researcher to learn more about the impact this research could have. I think mental health within the communities, within the school districts, within the world is not really where it should be. For Nicole Beausoleil, the Oxford High School shooting changed everything. One year ago, her daughter Madison Baldwin was among four children shot and killed. Can someone be taken down a different path to prevent a school shooting if you get through to that child early enough? Absolutely. Absolutely. Since the tragedy, Nicole has used her platform to help raise awareness about mental health issues plaguing children. It takes time. It takes practice. It takes um, that constant, like I said, follow up. It's no different than getting an infection and you have to put antibiotics on it. Nicole's message resonating with top researchers at Michigan State University. Dr. Elise Felino Lai is one of the doctors in the psychiatry department who will oversee a five year study geared toward preventing adolescent violence and school shootings. The point of our program is to wrap the community around this individual so that they cannot slip through the cracks. Dr. Lai tells us specialized teams will deploy to five regions throughout the state where caseworkers and mentors intervene to help a student who's shown to be struggling with mental health, in some cases demonstrating suicidal or homicidal tendencies or other aggression. This comes in a year in U.S. history that's brought more than 350 mass shootings. What we hope to do is produce a report regarding the best practices that can be hopefully impl implemented throughout the state, not only the state, but maybe the United States. She says partnerships with law enforcement and schools are key in identifying which students need help. This study takes into account that oftentimes lack of resources can stand in the way of preventing an adolescent from harming others. The study will also examine factors proven to help avert school shootings. It's a collaboration in the community um, that an individual is getting, if they need academic support, they're getting that. If they need mental health support, they're getting that. Um, the individual is not being arrested in our program necessarily, um, but rather we're offering supports, not punishment. For Nicole, it's a source of hope, along with inspiration, that state grant dollars can truly be used to help save lives of children in schools. If we can get a little bit of awareness or we can get a little bit of knowledge in this aspect, it can go in other places throughout the community. Leaders of this study are hopeful that after five years they can continue their work. They say nothing is more important than keeping our young people safe. Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Simon. We'll continue to follow the study as researchers begin their work. You can follow updates and learn more about the regions they will be focusing on on our website at WXYZ.com.